Shadow and I are in Eureka, Utah, a small old mining town. And up on the mountain there, you can see the T. That stands for the Tintic Silver Mine. This was a silver mining town, and this is the Tintic Jubilee, their annual Jubilee. They come together every year and have a couple of days of celebrations and concerts and drive-in movies. Shadow, are you doing okay there? We're gonna walk around and check the place out. We really lucked out, just happened to come through the town on this day, saw the signs, so we pulled over to check it out. We're actually here to do some rock hounding. I wonder if there's a booth here with rocks. You know, a rock hound booth. Well, they didn't find a rock booth, but look at this stuff. Step on your horseshoe, signs, horseshoe, flowers, and bees. But I really like this thing right here. I think that's really cool. <laughs> What's the name of your business? Uh, we are Atlas Welding Garage. We're local to the Kearns Salt Lake area. Okay. Atlas Welding Garage. And this is your business? Yes, it's a family. Uh huh. Family business. Yeah, I'll take that right there. Awesome. Thank you so much. I gotta check this booth out. It's stuff made out of old barbed wire. Or look at all of this. All made out of barbed wire that Highway 50. Hi, I'm Mickey Mammoth. And you and your husband make all of these beautiful things. Yes. And, and I just purchased one. Can, can you show the one I just purchased? I think this is really, I think this is really clever. You see the cactus and then the sombrero, the guy sleeping under the cactus with the sombrero and the hot sun, all in a, a bowl, kind of a bowl skull, I yeah, guess. Yeah, cow skull, yeah. Cow skull. Yeah, so I have another thing to take home now. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Oh, and your card. Yes. Let me show your card. Rusty Barboards and Justin and Nikki Mehmet. All right, I'm gonna have to get out of this place before I go broke because I'm a real sucker for interesting, cool little things that are like made by hand, by people, especially in small towns and stuff. It's just really cool. It's a fun little place. You gotta love small town America. Well, that was a lot of fun, checking out that little, you know, town jubilee, annual jubilee they call it, kind of like a little town fair. So we're gonna drive now through the old town of Eureka and we'll check it out and then we're gonna go out and do some rock hounding. Wow, this is a real old-fashioned town. You know, these stores are open though. I mean, these buildings are old, but they're occupied and there's people doing business out of them. Look at this, the Silver Club. Wow. There you go. The town of Eureka. Well, we've turned off the uh, main road and we're on the dirt roads now. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go. So I'm going to uh, just go. Okay, we wound our way up into the mountains. It's a beautiful view and you can see 
the far southern end of Utah Lake down below us. Okay, we've hiked a little bit away from the truck. I'm going to check out this mountainside right here and see what we can find. Are you finding rock shadow? No, you're finding baby lizards. <laughs> we don't want the baby, oh, the little guy escaped, good. I'm not gonna tell you where he went. We're not looking for baby lizards, Bubby. We're looking for agates and jaspers and beautiful rocks. Find the pretty ones, Shadow. Help me find the pretty rocks. So, Shadow and I have been up visiting my parents. My father turns 89 this month, and so we really uh, didn't come prepared to Rockhound, but I decided to take a route back that would bring us through this area and just check it out and do some rock counting. So I didn't have my regular tools and so forth, so I had to stop at Ace and buy this little bucket. And I'm just using a little shovel instead of my favorite tools. But hey, you know what? You don't need anything, frankly. You can fill your pockets and use your hands. Rock counting is just about getting out, exploring and finding stuff and learning. It's all good. You don't have to have special tools. You don't have to have an advanced degree. You can educate yourself along the way from those that do have advanced degrees and post their informative videos on YouTube and write books, which I really appreciate. There's, there's something promising right there. I would like to know what this is. Is it basalt? Or is it silica that's mixed with something that gives it that dark black color because it's kind of lustrous and... I'm gonna take it, try and figure it out. That's one way I learn, is take things home that I don't know what they are, and then get the books open and the testing tools and the hardness kit and whatever else, and go to work to see if I can figure it out and educate myself. Look at this. Now this is a good example of how this stuff is formed. You can see the outside imprints of what was the host, probably volcanic, I'm pretty sure volcanic, and then what formed inside of it. Silica mixed with different elements to give it different colors. I honestly think this is a jasper, not basalt. You can see a lot of basalt around here. And then there's this deep, dark, waxy, lustrous black. We'll take it home and we'll figure it out, but I think it's Jasper. No, no bucket stop. That's a beautiful Jasper right there. Dark, deep reds and blacks and some yellows in there. We're slowly making our way up this hill. What do you see down there, Shadow? So some guys pulled up next to my truck and I'm a little ways away. Still makes you worry a little bit, but I think they're actually looking for rocks. Those of you that have watched a few of my videos, I think in one of them anyway, I quoted a Japanese saying, they're called kotowaza. I lived in Japan for several years when I was younger and they're called kotowaza. It's a, like a proverb or a saying and they have one when translated. It goes, the wandering dog finds the bone. The wandering dog finds the bone and that's what we're doing, we're wandering. That's a beautiful, now that's a beautiful hack. This is what I'm looking for, very waxy. Very lustrous. Let's see if we can find some more of these. I 
Now that is a beautiful jasper. Very, again, waxy, microcrystalline, lustrous. And you can see the host, you know, the markings, indentations of the host that have formed in. Really beautiful. Okay, we're in a good spot now. I'm finding better quality stuff, which means if I keep finding it, I'll be throwing some stuff out of my bucket. That's beautiful. Not real big, but... Check this out. Wow. Wow, that is beautiful. Let's see here. I wonder how heavy it is. That's a little chip of it. I'll take that. I'm gonna take it home. I just gotta figure out how. Children, do not do this at home. Was it worth it? I think it was. That's it for the day. We're heading home. Well, back to the Japanese saying, the wandering dog finds the bone. Just as we're getting ready to leave, we run into some fellow rock hounders. That told us of a place to go to, so we drove there. So we're gonna start looking around here and see what we can find. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of jasper. It's thin, but it'll It'll tumble real nice. Wow. Let's throw that in the polisher. This is just right in the road. Oh, that'll be a beautiful piece. Peace. Too big to put in the tumbler, but I'm going to take it anyway. Oops. And that right there, oh, that's a beautiful one. Look at that. Wow. It's just so waxy and it was so, you know, you can already, it's already polished and I haven't even run it through the polisher yet. That's beautiful. It's got more browns in it. That's a beautiful jasper. We will throw that in my larger tumbler and tumble it for probably from stage one to final polish stage to get it where I want it. It'll probably take three months. Another brown one. So beautiful. These are really good quality jaspers. Look at that thing. These are so big. Well, it's time to start heading home. This has been a really fun trip. We didn't expect to spend this much time, but I mean, it's been fantastic with you know, some clouds, some kind of ominous looking clouds, we've uh, been able to stay relatively cool. But if we don't head home now, we won't get home before midnight. So 
we got to go. We've had a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along.